Hello and welcome to today's presentation. Today we're going to be looking at biological organization. We're going to be covering three things. The first of these we're going to be looking at the differences between plant and animal cells. We're going to be looking at the function of the organelles and then we're going to be looking at how multicellular organisms are organized. Plants and animals are made out of cells. Now although there are differences, there are also some similarities. These are highlighted in blue. The cell membrane controls the movement of substances into and out of a cell, while the cytoplasm is where the chemical reactions take place within the cell. The nucleus contains the genetic material needed by the cell to carry out its activities. The mitochondria are the powerhouse of a cell. It's where energy production takes place through the process of respiration, one of the seven life processes. The final three structures are found in plant cells only. First of these is the chloroplast. Now the chloroplast contains chlorophyll which is a green pigment and it's involved in photosynthesis so it's very very important. We then have a vacuole and the vacuole is filled with water and what that does it allows the plant cell to remain turgid. If you don't water your plants then the first thing you usually see is that the plant starts to wilt. Next we've got the cell wall and that's there to provide support and help strengthen the cell. Both plant and animal cells can be highly specialised and in a later video we're going to be looking at how their adaptations allow them to carry out their particular functions. Okay, so we've looked at the differences between plant and animal cells. We've also looked at the function of the organelles. We're now moving on to number three, how multicellular organisms are organised. Okay, so we know that um, a cell is the basic building block of life and we know that we can have different types of cells for example cheek cells, muscle cells in animals you can also have palisade cells in plants as well but the difference between a cell and a tissue is that a tissue is a group of functioning cells all working together the difference between a tissue and an organ is that an organ is a group of functioning tissues some common examples of organs in plants would be things like the roots, the stems, and the leaves. In animals, you've got the heart, the lungs, the blood vessels, the stomach, the kidneys. These are all examples of organs. Now, the difference between an organ and an organ system is that the organs are all working together for a specific function. So some examples of some organ systems would be things like the circulatory system, which involves things like the lungs, the heart, the blood and the blood vessels. You also have a digestive system, the excretory system, and things like the musculoskeletal system as well. Now all of these body systems working together produces an organism. Okay, so that concludes this short presentation. Hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to keep a lookout for some more videos coming up soon.